Hello everybody, my name is Timmy here, and welcome back to a new video today. And today we're going to be talking about the Hunter Killer Drone. Now, the Hunter Killer Drone is a really powerful score streak that is in Black Ops 2, but not many people use it because it's really an easier kill streak and more people want to use the higher up score streaks and other things. But it's actually very powerful. Now, the idea from this episode was actually not for me. It was from one of my subscribers and commenter commentators on one of my videos on the Sentry Gun video that I did a couple months ago. The uh, someone named Cardmaster Mini commented saying that I should do one for the Hunter Killer drone. So I am today. Now, basically, the Hunter Killer drone is a very interesting score streak, but it's also very simple to like explain because it works in one way. The Hunter Killer drone and the Swarm, which is just the Swarm, is just more Hunter Killer drones spawned in the air. It works by line of sight. So, if you are in the Hunter Killer Drone's line of sight, it will lock onto you and it will kill you obviously. So, it works on line of sight. So, once you if you know like a Hunter Killer Drone is coming, you want to go inside. That's the one thing you really want to do and just make sure you don't get hit by it obviously and other things. To know how the Hunter Killer Drone attacks and when it will attack you you will hear a loud beeping sound now you'll have roughly a second and a half maybe one second to like advance and move out of the way before it gets you now that's not really a lot of time considering maybe the startup sprint like when you have to like when you press down the sprint button and start moving to actually get sprinting it's kind of like a delay of it so it will be kind of hard to avoid hunter killer drones a lot of times now, really, the only thing that can block a Hunter Killer Drone is just Flak Jacket helps only if your teammate, like, only if it's, like, say, a teammate, it, go, it catches a teammate on the side, not just you. Because if it's still locked onto you and it hits, like, so your center mass, you're still going to die. Because the radius of the Hunter Killer Drone is actually pretty big. There's no, like, concrete stats on how big the radius is, but I did uh, some testing, if you want to call it, in theater mode, and it's roughly the size of a C4 radius, so... It's very powerful, and since it's a one-hit kill pretty much anywhere, with even people with flak jacket, it's pretty hard to take out. Now, there's a couple things that can take it out, of course. There's uh, the EMP grenades, the EMP system, which is just like that score streak, and trophy systems. Those are really the easiest things to take them out. You can't use, say, bullets, because really it's really hard to see it actually in the air, and it's just you won't be able to hit it, obviously. Also, like uh, launchers, like the FHJ, you will not be able to take it out and the black hat pda like i did that underdog episode on unfortunately you cannot destroy hunter killer drones so that's it really i mean it's a really the hunter killer drone is actually really useful too because it doesn't just kill people for example you could throw it at score streaks and it's actually really effective because when you throw it at score streaks it easily takes them out for example it will destroy uavs counter uavs it would even go after, say, bigger air uh, score streaks, like, say, the Stealth Chopper, the VTO Warship, other things like that. Like, think basically score streaks that you can destroy. The Hunter Killer Drone will destroy, too. Now, a couple, like, tips if I want to give for the Hunter Killer Drone. Uh, hardline really helps to get it, like, much faster. I run for, with the Hunter Killer Drone. I just run UAV, Hunter Killer, and Counter UAV. Those three score streaks will help out immensely at getting your Hunter Killer as fast as you can and getting all those bonuses with the Counter UAV and the UAV so you can get your Hunter Killer drones, UAVs again and again really fast. Also, since you have a Counter UAV up, the enemy team's not going to know where your Hunter Killer drone is because on the minimap, you will see where it is on like the minimap, but if you have a Counter UAV, they can't see it, so it's pretty useful. Uh, a couple other things is... Definitely, if you know where the enemy spawn is, like you'll see in one of these clips that I posted here in this uh, gameplay, I throw it at the enemy spawn and I get a triple kill with it. Now, I really don't suggest doing that that often because sometimes it might hell, it might even, the enemy might, might walk past the wall and it'll just hit the wall and you'll be out of a hunter killer. So what I like to do is uh, throw it up in the air, like kind of like a football if you want to say that. Just throw it up in the air and let it fly around itself and it'll target people. Usually that gets you maybe like mostly double kills and stuff, but uh, it's definitely more more effective than just throwing out at someone. I mean, if you see like say you're in domination, right? And you see four people run towards a flag and you have your hunter killer drone, just throw it right at the flag and you'll get a multi-kill right there but really i suggest for just general use throw it up in the air because hell you even get the like, kill streaks if you don't get anyone and that's still score that you want other than that that's pretty much it the radius is like like i said it's like the size of a c4 so it's really not that great the um obviously works on line of sight and everything 
Uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, Blind Eye will protect you from it, so you could use that if you, if this team, uh, if you're against another team who's constantly using air street, uh, like air vehicles and stuff and hunter killers, put on Blind Eye and they won't be able to get you at all. So, but they can get your teammate right next to you, and that could kill you, and that'll be pretty infuriating. But that's about it, guys. The gameplay's wrapping up here. I hope you enjoyed this episode about the Hunter Killer Drone. It's a really powerful score sheet. Not many people use it, but I definitely suggest you use it. You unlock it pretty early, too, so you can really master it. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, but then again, I will see you all next time.